Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to be whipping up a simple breakfast casserole from our preps. So today I am whipping up just a simple breakfast casserole. This is super easy to do. I love simple and easy. I really do. It's no sense to have everything overly complicated, especially in an emergency situation. When you're diving into your preps, you want it to be as simple and easy as possible. No extra stress. So today I'm just going to be using some fresh eggs. We have chickens, so we have tons of fresh eggs all the time. And if you don't, you can use the egg powder stuff. And uh, I'm going to use some ground beef because I have it open. Sausage is also really good in here. Ham, you could add chicken, anything you want for meat or no meat at all. And then some freeze-dried onions, freeze-dried peppers. I've got some dehydrated zucchini just for extra nutrients and you can slip it in there and the kids don't really notice it. So, but it helps add, add to your meal. And then we're gonna use these Hungry Jack potatoes and a little bit of cheese that I have open, salt, pepper, and some parsley. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to start with, I just opened up my Hungry Jack box and is about half full, I would say. And this is a brand new box, but that's about, about half full is what you get. And uh, I'm just gonna, a lot of time, you could put this in a bowl and, you know, rehydrate it that way but I'm saving dishes here you don't want to waste any dishes or anything like that especially in emergency so I'm just gonna take some fresh clean water and just cover these potatoes just so they're covered in there a little extra is okay they're gonna swell up a little bit and I'm gonna let this sit just like this so they can get rehydrated while I get everything else together and it takes about Oh, probably six to ten minutes uh, is and then they're ready to go so while our potatoes are rehydrating I am I just turned on my oven to 350 degrees just to let it preheat and get it ready and I've got 10 eggs in here that I've cracked open and I'm gonna add oh about a third of a cup of milk or cream whatever you like I use whatever's in the fridge, a little less cream maybe, you can, you could do it any way you want. Now I just want to get these mixed up really good. Oh my yolk's broken, so we're ready to rock. Okay, let's set this over here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. I like to do uh, just a little, not too much. I like it a little cheesy. About, I don't know, quarter cup. You could do more. I put a little more on top when I cook it. So we'll, I just put a little bit in there to stop. And I'm going to use about a half a cup of beef or sausage, whatever it is that you're using. And... Oh, a little under a quarter cup of freeze-dried onions. I love onions in my food, so. And everything you add just gives you a little bit more nutrients, so it's good to have. And then we're gonna do, oh, about a half a cup of the freeze-dried bell peppers. I'm gonna break some of these in half because they're kind of long. And some pieces are small, some are big. But the big long ones. I'm going to just bust them up a little, just so they're bite-sized. Not too crazy in there. Eh, that's a big one. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to add, if I can get this baby open, there. I'm going to add, oh, a handful or so of the dehydrated zucchinis. And you could use summer squash for this. I find the zucchini, it doesn't add tons of flavor, so the kids don't really notice it's in there. But, uh, but it adds a lot of good nutrients for you, so that's good. 
and then a little bit salt and pepper to taste whatever you like and I'm going to throw a little bit of parsley in there because that is good for digestion oh half a teaspoon all right, and you can add more to the top so it's pretty if you are concerned with that. And then we're going to give this another good mix so everything is mixed in there. There, we've got that ready to rock. So now I'm just going to, this has soaked up a lot of the water and this is ready to go. So I'm just going to kind of pinch this top and let it drain off the extra liquid. Now I'm just going to, I'm using an 8x8 eight eight glass dish here for this. And I'm just, I've got some coconut cooking spray, whatever you want. You can use oil or butter or whatever you like. This is easy. And then I'm just going to add my stuff in let's see we'll put the potatoes in and they come out nice they are nice shreds and they're they're flexible again and I'm gonna put the whole thing in there this is a nice hearty little meal Let's kind of spread those out a little they're gonna distribute through the eggs anyway and then we are going to add our eggs and all our other goodness that we have right in there. And kind of mix it up a little. You can see we've got all of our goodness in there. This makes such a good yummy little casserole, perfect for breakfast, even lunch and dinner. We don't always make breakfast stuff for breakfast. Sometimes we have cereal for breakfast and and then breakfast for dinner and sometimes we have breakfast for lunch my favorite is ice cream for dinner so once you get here I like to add a little bit more cheese to the top just to make it nice and cheesy that's why I don't put so much inside but you can you can do it anyway doesn't really matter and then just a little bit on the top and we're gonna pop this in the oven 350 degrees for about 25 30 minutes okay so I like to cook it till it's golden brown and I use a toothpick just to check to make sure it is done in the center because that is where it's the hardest to cook so once it is done in the center and there's no liquid in there you can pull it out and I'm gonna let this sit for about five or so minutes just to cool down a little bit and then we'll bust her open and there you go it is that simple super easy you've got your meat in there so you can see some peppers you've got zucchini in here all kinds of good stuff super healthy good for you and delicious and all, most everything is right from the pantry just a few fresh eggs mmm yummy and that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.